reduce as much as possible the cost per wear let's change the way we shop something like that you mustn't be buying something new just try and support them your young designers gratitude i even feel in my heart anytime you support me so do you need this extra straight skirts do you need this extra red jacket what's the aim like what's the gain depends on your needs and wants read the label including how the outfits are made and where they end up Hi there, welcome to my channel. My name is Stephanie and I'm a London based content creator. I create videos in fashion, travel, lifestyle and lots of life in London slash London living. If this is something you enjoy, subscribe if you haven't. Click the bell right beside the subscribe button so you join my tribe. If you're a returning subscriber, I love you so much. Thank you so much for supporting me, coming back, watching my videos and definitely enjoying it. Today's episode, I'll be talking about my fashion resolutions. I know you're tired of listening to resolution talks. Some of you don't even do resolutions, but yeah, this is going to be worth your listen. Resolutions, as we all know, can have a toxic effect if they are too high and unrealistic. When we make them and then break them too early, it becomes really frustrating. And then most of us now join the I don't do resolutions gang. Resolutions are not for me. I can make changes anytime in my life. Yes, I totally understand that. But it's also very important to just change a few habits or just certain ways you see and deal with some certain situations. Nothing very grand. Today's episode, we're going to be definitely talking about the fashion side of things. Personally, I always advise people that your resolutions don't have to be groundbreaking just choose specific habits in your life that you would either like to stop um to change or to even start so yeah come along with me as i decide the five things that are going to be my fashion resolutions from 2021 and ongoing so the first resolution is to shop your wardrobe i've heard this in a couple places i've heard it a couple of times already this year even from last year people were already talking about how to go back into your wardrobe and shop from there that sometimes you buy things you probably bought it because someone impressed you to buy it or you bought it because it was so on trend or you bought it because you just thought okay this thing is so dope and then first the only time you've even worn it was when you tried it on or the way you wore it for one event and stuff like that and then those things get to the back of your closet or at the bottom of it i totally forget it once they were where you have time go into your closet bring out things that you haven't worn so much if you think they're still going to be versatile and useful for you bring them out even some things you think you have rocked just try and combine them in different other ways when you combine something differently it kind of refreshes the look it makes you feel oh this is even a new item you are you've just been wearing it in a certain way just try and draw inspiration from so many places and go back into your wardrobe your closet recombine things search for things you haven't worn well what you should have at the back of your mind when you finish buying something is to reduce as much as possible the cost per wear so trying to have a minimal cost per wear of my items is my goal the second one is buy less and buy better the other time i went for brunch with um agogo at obain in selfridges we we're walking down to marble Lodge area and then we saw this huge sign on the selfridges building saying let's change the way we shop something like that so basically when you're told buy less and buy better basically means buying quality items buying versatile items and then recycling your items so when you buy an item in buying better you mustn't be buying something new you could also be buying something like vintage something that has been worn before something that has been recycled you know i will buy some that is versatile so buying better doesn't mean going to spend more money buying an item obviously you're looking at quality but then again that doesn't mean you're going to spend you know extra money to buy better if you know what i mean personally another reason i really can't wait for this lockdown to be over is so i can go vintage shopping thrift shopping at the normal places i go because i always just find it more valuable but you're not buying something you're going to be seeing everywhere every time aside the fact that it's off season sometimes it's like beyond beyond even our generation that you see you know very lovely vintage items so yes buying better and buying less is one of my resolutions for 2021 and beyond the third one is to support young designers young designers and i'll also add local designers so there's a lot of people who are graduating from fashion schools 
the COVID, God has not really been good to them. The lockdown, the pandemic has it hasn't been to so many people. Where you can just imagine people that were supposed to have shows to show their first collections and stuff like that. You see most of them on Etsy, you see them on Instagram. Just try and support them. Your young designers that you think are doing well, who you think need to be encouraged. It can it must even be people that are really far from you. Just look around you, the local school, the local fashion school around you, local fashion place where they do exhibitions around you just go there and show some support because these people need it so well talking about this i also mentioned local businesses obviously with the whole pandemic businesses even the strong big businesses have been some of them have been having issues so you can imagine what an entrepreneur who just started a fashion line maybe before the pandemic is going through so try as much as possible to support those local people i know i live in the uk but when i say local designers for myself personally i look at it as african brands precisely so most of the time nigerian brands i try my best to support them even if i'm not you know geographically close to them i try to order things send them down to myself promote them wear them teach people how to wear them that's something i'm going to continue it's not really a resolution that i haven't been doing that obviously i'm a small business as well i own i'm in london and i know what it is like i know the dance i know the prayers i pray for my customers every time they support me i know the gratitude i show the gratitude i even feel in my heart anytime you support me i also ask you to you know just do more of that support your local designer support your young upcoming budding designers as well the fourth one is um asking questions so this asking questions has to do with sustainability at the same time it has to do with just curtailing what's in your wardrobe really do you need this extra straight skirts do you need this extra red jackets do you need like just ask yourself before you purchase things i know it's difficult like sometimes when you're on instagram or your places where you're seeing the people you really love wear something buy something that is so in just check yourself come do you need this do you have something in your wardrobe that will style your pieces just exactly the way this one would is that is that one bad you know or if, are you just bored of it if you're bored of it fine you can actually go to ebay depop vinted sell your stuff there and then get another one but not piling up things unnecessarily what's the aim like what's the gain i started really hating hoarding items there's a time in my life i used to have like almost everything she gets like in sometimes even in twos and threes and then when i started doing contracting i think it was the first time i traveled really really far it wasn't even Sunderland trip because Sunderland was still fine. I think it was when I went to Gloucester. So I said, packing my life. I was like, what the heck? We have like eight boxes. Because I also stopped paying rent in London then. I also just moved straight. Then I just realized, come, babes, you have so much. And I just pushed myself and said, okay, I'm going to take only three bags <laughs> to this new city. The rest of these things. I will sell them i will give them out you know that's how i just said detaching myself from material things i know i'm a blogger so a lot of times i need to show people how to do this but then again that's why you work so hard so brands will always sponsor you and then you always have things to show people most of the things i even get in the blogging i sell them off on ebay like literally if i place an order that for something for blogging before it even gets to me it's already probably in my ebay shop especially with something i don't need i'm just trying to like show people how to wear it and stuff it's already in ebay shop there's no point gathering all these material things things really there's so many people that even need these things like i always tell you guys about charity collection people i collect clothes the uk just go on there write your post for them and pick your stuff highest two weeks in during the christmas period i think they gave me like two weeks come pick up so but normally they come in like a week pick up everything you have that is still wearable and then give it to a charity that you choose yourself so ask yourself a question like that if i need something and then even when you're supporting brands maybe you meet a new brand you don't know what they stand for just try and go that extra effort to research what this brand stands for how did they make their clothes like what you're wearing on your body now who made it is it someone who is suffering in one country not feeding their family you know slaving to sew your clothes and you know just make that little effort to just try to know who actually made my clothes this resolution is generally you asking yourself personal questions on your needs and wants also understanding your brand read the label of your clothes get the designer's point of view sustainability basically is just how fashion affects the whole planet and the people everyone in all the stages of the supply chain of that business including how the outfits are made and where they end up so that's something i know i've started trying to do and yeah it's going to be um, part of my resolution fashion wise 2021 and beyond last but not the least is to express yourself when it comes to fashion and wearing clothes looking good the most important thing is your confidence it's not really what people say is in or it's not in or is trendy or what you see someone else wearing your confidence will enable you carry any outfits you like 
properly and in the best way another thing you should consider is your body shape most mannequins you see that obviously mannequins are you know th things you see the clothes on these days anyway we have influencers so obviously you should be following influencers that you know probably have your same body figure just so that you can see the outfit before that's why most of us do try on hauls it's not because you cannot see it on asos or you cannot see it on zara and know whether it will suit you it's because a lot of people like don't have that body shape that the mannequin will be wearing it in or whatever so we just bring this outfit for you feel them touch them explain to you you know how it looks where you can wear it to and then try them on and you see whether it will suit you if you have you know similar body figures so that's another thing is this something you like um would it be able to suit your body i know there's also people who even look at colors like what what colors you know suit my skin tone i don't go that deep to be honest because i just know what i like so even if you think it doesn't suit my skin as long as i know it's good for my body and i'm able to carry confidently i'm sold and i'll wear my stuff so express yourself have fun with fashion don't be caged at the same time know what suits your body so guys that's about it for my fashion resolutions i hope you took one or two things from this if there's anything you want to add please leave it in the comment section um, subscribe and click the bell if you have one drop a comment because i love to read from you follow me on instagram at metro gypsy so we can chill over there see you guys on the next episode bye bye I was scared to finish one.